The Intucare Mosquito Trap is a green and innovative tool to control mosquitoes. It consists of a water container and components made from durable plastic. The trap is placed outdoors, on the ground, in the shade. To assemble the trap, click on the two interface components by tightly pressing them on top of each other. Add 3 liters of water to the trap. Open the refill sachet and fix the powder treated gauze onto the floater. Use the three pins to fixate the gauze. Place the floater carefully on the water surface. This component will move up and down when the water level changes. Add the powder and the odor tablet from the sachet into the water of the trap. Fix the lid of the trap by turning it clockwise on the central tube. The Intercare trap targets mosquitoes that are ready to lay their eggs. The odor lure attracts Aedes mosquitoes, which can transmit dengue and chikungunya virus. Attracted by smelly water, the mosquito enters the trap and searches a spot to settle near the water surface. The gauze on the floater is an ideal location for the insect to land. She uses the gauze to rest while laying her eggs in the water. Unknowingly, she contaminates the water with particles from the gauze. These particles were transferred to her skin when making contact with her legs and body. The gauze has a special coating that uses polarity to bind mosquito-killing powders. The positive charge of the insect makes the particles transfer to her skin. Her body is contaminated with two different actives. One that slowly kills the mosquito and one that kills her larvae. After laying a batch of eggs, the now contaminated mosquito flies out of the trap. She goes and searches for another location to lay more eggs. Rainwater in an old car tire provides a nice spot to breed. When she contacts the water, the larva site on her legs dissolves and contaminates the breeding site. This cycle is repeated when the mosquito continues to search other places to lay her eggs. At every stop she contaminates the water with larvicide. Even the very small amounts that are transferred can effectively kill all larvae. In this way she kills her own offspring as well as offspring from other mosquitoes that use the same breeding site. With this technique we control mosquito breeding in and around the trap, even in sites that may be small and hard to find by control personnel. One trap effectively covers an area of 400 square meters. The larvicide is not the only bioactive in the trap. The second killing agent is a fungus. Its spores attach to the mosquito skin upon contact with the gauze. Once attached, the fungus spores slowly start to germinate. They use germination tubes to penetrate the skin. Once inside the mosquito, the fungus produces blastospores that excrete toxins. This infection makes the mosquito less active and reduces its willingness to bite humans. It also inhibits the development of dengue virus in the mosquito gut. An infected mosquito can therefore still spread larvicide around the trap but cannot transmit disease. After a few days, the mosquito succumbs to the fungus infection and dies.